Yo, this is uh just wanna get out and chop it up with y'all today. You know, it's been a long silent period for, for the hurricanes and uh and the hurricanes fans. And just uh been having some thoughts about some things and you know, me back and forth on Twitter with a lot of these different you know, fans are supposed to be fans of whomever you want to trolls. I don't know the language, but whatever they are, they they want to somehow, you know, feel like they can use me as a punching bag, you know. And so, you know, I, I welcome that. I don't care who you are. You know, bring it on. You know, that's me. So, you know, but today I, I want to just talk about uh, what makes the success of a head coach. And throughout my years of watching the, the Miami Hurricanes, you know, I've seen uh, a different patterns, you know, with, with the great coaches that we've had, Snellenberger, uh, Jimmy Johnson, uh, Dennis Erickson, you know, and Butch Davis. I got I got to get Butch Davis, which I don't, like I always say, I don't believe Butch Davis was a heck of a coach. He was more so an excellent talent evaluator. That being said, and I I got to put uh, Shannon um, Coca in there because Coca he did win uh, one national championship and took us to another and lost um, you, know, you know that game and it was very heated and contested because I don't believe Ohio State beat us in that game. But what makes a successful head coach? That's what I want to talk to you today. Miami just hired Mario, Coach Mario Cristobal, and I don't know, it's maybe it's been a month. It seems like it's been a year, but and since he's come in, I, I've seen some some great things he's doing. Yes, um, especially on how he's arranging and has modified the the crew, his recruiting at Miami, you know, uh, uh, not his recruiting, but has modified the recruiting at Miami and has taken it up 10 levels, you know, and and uh, we we have a c coming weekend in January, you know, that's built to, to be a, a, a weekend that a lot of talent will be on Miami campus. Probably the most, uh, talent we ever had as for a star rated in the history of Miami program. And I think that is excellent, Mario, to jump right in and, and recruit the way he's been recruited. You know, I think it's excellent that he targeted an area and he jumped right into it. And that's that's outstanding. But ultimately you know, I hear so many people on on on, on the online always hollering about the Jimmys and Joes, the five stars, the five elite players. But in my opinion, ultimately, we're going to decide his fate and his success at Miami is who he hired as a support system. Who are the coaches that's going to help him win? That's right. So all of his assistant coaches and how he go about hiring those gonna tell if Mario Cristobal succeed at Miami. And as I said, stated before, we have a track record in front of us. See, so when you look at the just say Jimmy Johnson's and how who he had on his staff and his his coordinators as far as the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, old line coaches, you know. Most of the coaches that coached under Jimmy Johnson, those coaches made it to to be head coaches or defensive coordinators. You know, if there was position coaches, they elevated the defensive co I mean, to coordinator positions. The point is that Jimmy Johnson had an excellent staff, and it proved on the field with his record. And I, I think it's something like fifty something. I don't know, four or seven. Or I I don't have the numbers in front of me. But I can. I'll put them up there. And after Jimmy, you know, I, I ain't going to talk much about Schnellenberg. That's so long ago. But uh, he, 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 you saw what he did. He locked down Florida. He, he started this. Locked down, you know, Florida. The, the state of Florida. He, he targeted that area. 
and Jimmy picked it up. And after Jimmy, we had Dennis Erickson. And Dennis Erickson coming down, being he was an offensive mind, you know, uh, he didn't really need no offensive coordinator because he was a heck of an offensive mind. And as you can see, we had a Heisman Trophy with winner with, with him. You know, Toretta. And um, we did some great things on him. If I'm not mistaken, he won two national champions. But after that, you know, we went down probation, and he had Butch had to, Butch Davis had to rebuild it, and he did an excellent job. And he hired some excellent coordinators, one being Larry Coker. Who, uh, and and when he hired Larry Coker and Shiano and a whole bunch of other coaches that found themselves to be head coaches, other way, other in, in, as they moved on in their careers, and and that showed show gives you an example of what you need to do if you wants to win you understand what i'm saying so we come out after davis you come with with coca who hired shannon and chazinski and, and those coordinators and he was highly successful but when Ch chazinski left that began that 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 showed his most vital pick as a coordinator was his offensive coordinator and that was chazinski because after Chodzinski left the program, declined. And then you brought in Randy, and Randy started his career off with hiring Patrick Nix. Awful decision, which led to his demise. And you get rid of, uh, after Randy, get get on up out of there, you bring in Al Gold, and he bring in no defense, Diafrio. That, 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 that tells you about the coach. You know, you can never tell him, oh, he's not a good coach. He stuck with it. And that ended his 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 reign. And then Mark Rich, whom I would always say has been the best pick since uh, Dennis Erickson, he hires Manny Diaz. Yeah, that illusion, uh, that uh, mirage, and which, in my opinion, it, you know, it was truly Rich uh, Mark Rich's coaching acumen that allowed us to do. A, a third of the things we was able to uh, accomplish under Manny's defense. And somehow Manny get the job and he bring in Dan Enos. And as we know, y'all know how that went and all the rest of that garbage he picked. And so now we got Mario Cristobal. And this is what, what, what I stay on. This is what's so vital, man. Because if he picked the wrong coaches, it's going to stagnate the, the program. I don't care how many Jimmys and Joes you have out there, man. Don't you know them Jimmys and Joes know you don't, you, they can tell when a coach don't know what the hell they're doing. They know that. They can look right across the, the field, the team that they playing with less talent, and they getting their ass whooped. Miami have seen that several times this past year. Less talent whooping them. That falls on the coach's shoulders. So, I just had to get out of here and get something on record, you know. We got to talk about something, man. Because sitting around here, like I say, people get a little antsy. You know, maybe. I, I, I do know this right here. The lineup that he got coming in January, I think January 22nd, you know, that's coming to visit. I think the final week, 22nd, 27th, whatever it is. That lineup, I, I, I know this much right here, that I know some of those players, you know, maybe he done broke bread with them. Maybe that day he gonna tell him say yeah this who, this who gonna be coach what you think about this or oh, not what you think about this this is gonna be the coaches this is gonna take us to where we need to go and, and if it's like that you know I support it I, like I said I support it to be damn who he who he pick but he pick some shit uh, I'm gonna blast him I'm gonna blast him and anybody else who gonna get on here and want to validate it if you come on here oh and yeah, you, you comment against me understand be prepared to get a response because I'm well capable. So you you know you, you know waiting. You know, day Monday. They 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 the first you know not the first of the week. I think Sunday the first day Monday. So we'll see. All right, tired of talking. Hey, Lizzie here. Peace. Bizarre. Holla.